One of the best things about life at sea is the access to nature. And there's a reef shark around. We'll see if we get to see it. We're Alejo and Andrea, and the past months living on a sailboat have made us more aware of global issues such as plastic pollution. So check out this beautiful little tiki bar. As we explore uninhabited islands, we confirm the urgency for all of us to be living an eco-friendly lifestyle. Okay, so the amount of trash that we have gathered is insane. What's up guys? So we are on the move again and we're going to South Ragged Island or to the one that's more south. We have like around from 18 to 23 knots. We have one reef in and we're going about 7 knots. 7.5. Yeah, it's pretty choppy conditions, rough conditions. It's getting crazy people, it's getting green. What is happening? Well, there was a, a man overboard alert signal coming out on our char flutter and on our AIS. So we thought it was a catamaran that was sailing north, but apparently we contacted on the radio, we contacted them on, on channel 16 and it wasn't them. So we're trying to figure out, we're staying with our buddy from La Gracia, if maybe they're getting the signal. We have the coordinates here, so I, we try looking if we could place the wave. upwind capabilities i'll show you guys so we are in neutral engines off we have 19 knots of wind around 45 50 degrees we have la gracia they're going at six and we have the main sail reef and the jib out and we're going at pretty good speed we're going at six knots all right so we made it to the spot why is it that there's not a bad spot here in the bahamas because the water's just so beautiful and so perfect so there's never a bad spot but anyway we made it here and now we're gonna head for a beautiful and nice day at the beach we are gonna do a little cook off uh we spent the morning at the beach with the dogs and now we're just gonna let them rest because they love sleeping and we're gonna do lunch at the beach with some awesome people what are we gonna have for lunch we're gonna do chicken sausages rice plantain Why do we have that camping stove? Uh, just in case our electric system stops. Well, you've already used it? Yeah. yeah, so in Miami, when our when everything stopped working, like the inverter, the generator, we were actually using the camping stove for about almost a month. We can live without a lot of things, but not without food. So that's why we have it. Hi, Jose. Hey. Hello. <laughs> what you cooking? We're gonna cook the plantain, then the chicken. I know the grill looks a little bit messy, but it is what it is. So check out this beautiful little tiki bar. I think it was built by a person that lived in this island before and it was all like put together and decorated by sailors that have made it here to this anchorage and this is called hockey and Look at this. Check it out. It says SB1 light, puddle jumper. Where's a life I? Where's my shot? Is this called living? Maybe we should totally make a little thing here so we can put SB Hakuna. <laughs> We're back in the move. 
where we are moving because there's a westernly front coming so everyone's just like going to get a spot and we're like sailing with uh, 10 boats there's one right there there's three behind us I don't know if you can see them you can just see the AIS it's like a race all those little boats and more people just are arriving here it's crazy everyone is on the move to go to the best snorkeling spot in the Bahamas. How does that make you feel? Nervous. Why? Because we're gonna see everything. 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 And last time I went into the water with Jose, we saw a huge barracuda the size of a shark. And if you guys remember the last time that we went spear fishing, that I caught a fish, our spear pulled broke. But Alejo, it's such a handyman, he fixed it with epoxy. Maybe we catch some dinner for tonight. intoxicated. I just removed the tail so it gets no toxic. Now we're gonna remove the poop from the lobster. Give it this little hole right here okay. where the lobster does poop. That's the anus, it's called yes. the anus. <laughs> Because you can get pink eye from that. <laughs> right now, Alejo is checking the anchor of Hakuna because today is Monday and tomorrow, Tuesday, we have a front coming that is going to be max, a max 40 knots. So that's pretty strong. So we need to make sure that we are protected. We anchored here this morning, but uh, the front is gonna be coming from there. The, the front is gonna be coming. It's gonna be starting from southwest to northwest. So we're gonna get protection from this island. We just gotta. We wanna see if we can move the boat closer. So just in case if we drag, we have more space towards the back. The problem is that this morning when we try to anchor, it seems like the holding. It's very rocky, it's rock and then a little layer of sand and so we have to make sure that the place where we throw our anchor is a lot of sand because if it doesn't grab properly then we're gonna drag for sure in 40 knots of wind. Yes. 
Who are you talking to? Our neighbors. Why? We, we are getting a bread recipe because we have no internet. <laughs> and we want to make some bread. Are you dreaming of some bread with butter yeah. and jelly? Yes, totally. Today we'll be cooking with Chef Andrea. We're going to make some bread. It sucks to have no internet. We have to do what? people used to do the old days. Okay, so one cup of water. Three fourths teaspoon of salt. And two cups, one fourth of all purpose bleach flour. Now we need one teaspoon of yeast. Do you like it burnt or medium burnt? Medium. Fine. In a couple of hours, we're gonna have some delicious bread. French delicious. bread! What are we gonna do meanwhile? Because we have no internet. We're gonna go watch a movie, I guess. How long have we had no internet for? Like four days, three days. Are you desperate? Desperate. We haven't seen how our YouTube channel is doing and <laughs> how you guys what you guys are commenting so we can't comment on your comments. So the wind last night was, I mean, it was strong, uh, but it wasn't terrible. We didn't drag, so which is good, but you still wake up all the time at night. And that's something, one of the things that has changed since we've started living on the boat. It's that we don't sleep the entire night as much as we used to just because you know, the wind, you know you can drag, so many things can happen and you're kind of like half of your brain is awake and the other half is asleep. But the good thing about the strong winds is that today we're going kite. Woohoo! We're going kiting! Yeah. Both kites already pumped up. Here, one and two. And we use a sugar scoop to launch the two kites and we extend the bars all around the boat and then just fold them nicely so that it's easy to do let go of the kite and launch. We use those yellow lines, which are the ones that you use when? We're sailing with the life jacket, like the harness. And we just leave them attached to the boat. And that way, whenever we want to come back, we just attach our kite to those lines and we're able to get back in the bit of a beach cleanup okay. okay so the amount of trash that we have gathered is insane insane how much trash there is in the entire beach really bad so the question is what do we do with it do we burn it or what do we do but plastic is really bad when you burn it and it actually contributes to climate change and so the answer is that we're caving a hole so we can actually put all of the trash and the plastic inside that hole put it back close it 
and then that way all the trash doesn't end up back at the beach. So, baby, how's the hole going? Woo! It's coming. We're making it. The workout. <laughs> Woo! We haven't done this area and you can see that area over there the full of trash You see stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound. Impossible. Okay, so we're still finding lots of trash. Alejo is doing, this is the third hole that we have, because we have lots of packs of trash, and we need as much space as we can get in order to dump all that trash. So you're probably thinking, why don't we take the trash with us? First of all, it's a lot of trash. Second of all, I believe the Bahamas doesn't have the infrastructure. I believe they burn all of the trash here in the Bahamas, if I'm not wrong. I don't think they have landfills. And so either way, this trash is gonna end up burned. When you burn plastic, it's actually bad for, it contributes to climate change. I'm not sure, I don't know all the information about it, but I know that it contributes to climate change. So that's not a good idea. So that's the reason why we're making big holes and we're just gonna put it all in there because the ultimate goal is simply to for this trash not to end up back in the ocean what do you think of all that trash Tomas? <laughs> are you camera shy Tomas? a little bit a little bit? toda esa basura Tomas muy bien eso Yep. Impressive. Look at all this trash. When played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. We picked up the rest of the beach and we have three more holes to throw it into. See if that works. Hola, Tomas. <laughs> 